One of the main reasons people buy a brand new car is the promise of a no-hassle ownership experience, free from the drip, drip, drip of service problems that set in as cars age. Nonetheless, Consumer Reports' exclusive auto surveys tells us that some buyers will be taking their brand new car back to the dealer's service department sooner and more often than other car buyers will. Consumer Reports surveys take a deep dive into the numerous things that can go wrong with a vehicle. They study 17 trouble areas, from nuisances such as squeaky brakes and broken interior trim, to major bummers such as out-of-warranty transmission repairs and trouble with four-wheel drive systems. Consumer Reports weighs the severity of each type of problem to create a predicted reliability score for each vehicle. To be considered for this list, they must have at least two model years of data in calculating the predicted reliability score. Based on that analysis, the following six SUV and crossover models are the least reliable. Number six, Subaru Ascent. This information may hurt some Subaru Ascent fans. The 2021 Subaru Ascent just dropped in its reliability ranking from Consumer Reports. In fact, the Ascent is now in the top five midsize SUVs with the least reliable rankings. The 2021 Subaru Ascent has one of the lowest predicted reliability ratings in its class. Consumer Reports gave it a predicted reliability rating of 18 out of 100. This is well below average, especially for such a new model. The Ascent just came out in 2019. Based on owner history, there are reports of minor engine problems, more severe transmission issues, climate system problems, suspension problems, braking issues, trouble with the electronics, and trouble with the power equipment. This is what's bringing the score down for the 2020 Subaru Ascent. However, fewer issues are reported for the 2021 model, meaning these problems may have been addressed. The 2019 Subaru Ascent has the most problems reported. The most significant issue seems to be with the electrical system. Owners faced the battery dying when the hatch was left open, not starting, dying immediately after being replaced, and the inability to be recharged. Problems with the steering system, engine, fuel system, and suspension are also listed. The 2019 model has six recalls, and the 2020 model has one recall. The 2019 recalls involve two fuel system issues, two powertrain issues, one engine problem, and a structural problem. The 2020 recall is for the fuel system. It's a little odd there wasn't a recall for the battery, but the seven recalls may have addressed serious issues that have been corrected for the 2021 Subaru Ascent. Number five, Tesla Model Y. Tesla typically generates glowing reviews, but that's not even close to what happened with the 2021 Tesla Model Y. A passing glance at the vehicle's Consumer Reports page quickly indicates that there is something seriously wrong with the vehicle. Consumer Reports only gave the vehicle an overall score of 18 out of a possible 100, which is very low indeed. Drivers want to know exactly what problems the 2021 Model Y encountered and if Tesla has taken steps to correct them. As you look closer at the Tesla Model Y's stats, you'll notice that in most areas, the Model Y scored quite well. A little more digging reveals that the main reliability concerns revolve around the vehicle's paint trim, body hardware, and body integrity. The year is still young. While drivers are starting to enjoy the 2021 Model Ys, the vehicles are still so new. It's impossible to accurately assess how the vehicle will perform and what problems will arise. Because the vehicle is so new, Consumer Reports predicted its reliability based on how previous years have performed. When you look at the information about the 2020 Model Y, you'll notice that its reliability score is also quite low. Early in 2020, it was apparent that there was an issue with the paint that was used in the 2020 Tesla Model Y. Although there were problems with the paint, they weren't major. He mentioned tiny dust particles in the paint. There were also some discoloration. In a few cases, the problem was difficult to correct, which led to additional paint problems. While the paint issues are irritating and could potentially lead to bigger issues down the road, if they weren't corrected, in the grand scheme of things, the situation could have been much worse. Uneven panel gaps, misaligned trim, and paint defects are the common ones to look for, according to owner complaints. And it's up to the new buyer to either tolerate the issues and let Tesla service fix them afterwards, or refuse delivery and wait for another car, which doesn't guarantee to be built better. If this sounds ominous, know that the common reaction amongst new Tesla Model Y owners is a love of their new EV offset by disappointing quality issues. In some cases, even seat belts were not attached, 
glass roof flew off just right after the pickup of the brand new car, generous water leaks through the glass roof, and so on. Number 4. Volkswagen Tiguan Although the Volkswagen Tiguan has received stellar safety ratings, these vehicles can be very hit or miss when it comes to reliability. The Volkswagen Tiguan's reliability rating is bad. Consumer Reports gave it a predicted reliability rating of 17 out of 100. Despite the positive reviews the 2020 Volkswagen Tiguan is receiving, Consumer's Reports felt differently. The four common problems for the Tiguan are clock spring failure, even after recalls, ignition coil failure causing the engine to suddenly lose power, defective timing chains that can lead to loose timing chains, and catastrophic engine failure. A large number of Volkswagen Tiguan vehicles have been recalled because they contain dangerous airbag inflators made by Takata. A noisy engine and lackluster acceleration were a few of the other negative points noted with this vehicle. With all that said, we have seen many Tiguans last past 100,000 miles without any issues. An important aspect of vehicle longevity is going to be maintenance. As long as vehicle maintenance is followed religiously, you should be okay. Just to preface, every engine is created differently. So, one vehicle may have a better built engine than another. Number 3. Volvo XC90 Reliability is more of a gray area with the new XC90 as it uses a lot of unproven, but of course thoroughly tested, technology. Compared to other luxury cars, Volvos have a relatively low number of reported problems. The model with the most issues is the XC90 SUV. While reviews for the XC90 are generally positive, it does have a reputation for loud engine noise in the cabin. Here are some other annoying issues that XC90 drivers have experienced. Some drivers had problems with the XC90's auto braking system. The automatic emergency brakes would engage by themselves as the car was in motion, often at highway speeds. This problem usually occurs when the car has 12,000 miles on the odometer. However, one driver reported that the emergency brakes became an issue at just 900 miles. Drivers said that this issue occurred multiple times, but no serious injuries were reported. Despite others experiencing the same issue, none have been able to find a permanent fix. A recall was issued for the automatic emergency brakes on certain Volvo cars. The XC90 was included. According to the recall, the problem was a missing software code that needs to be fixed with a computer update. Consumer Reports gave the Volvo XC90 a predicted reliability rating of 17 out of 100. Number 2. Ford Explorer Despite its amazing build, the Ford Explorer disappointed in many categories. The most common problem includes exterior body issues, transmission issues, and transmission failure. Consumer Reports gave it a predicted reliability rating of 8 out of 100. The line of cars was reported to show transmission lunging and jolting, with many claiming that the SUVs wouldn't engage at all. For starters, the transmission can jump into gear, giving the car a shake as well as an unstable shift. As the transmission shifts too fast, the car jerks or accelerates swiftly sometimes due to inadequate transmission fluid. How to know if your Ford Explorer problems are the ones we are talking about? The car jumps gear without warning slips in and out of it while you're driving, and doesn't let you get into gear. Take these as signs that the transmission has failed or is failing. The second most common issue reported by owners of Ford Explorers is significantly less severe, but still noteworthy. Warping and bubbling body paint became a major concern for those people. Granted, these issues make the car look shabby and could lead to rust, but they're definitely less intense than a failed transmission. The cracked panels and bubbling paint issue are fairly prevalent across users of all models. However, with the newer models, ones between the years 2017 to 2020, there has been a rise in complaints. Owners say the bubbling and cracking are out of control around the engine and on the hood. The aluminum hoods featured in these models corrode below the paint, creating bubbles in the paint layer or peeling of it. Exterior body problems would account for one-third of the Ford Explorer's problems reported. This primarily involved cracked panels causing many owners to wait for the company to issue a recall. While some users chose to replace the panels, some couldn't bother to take the high road and went to press charges against Ford for the poor build. Number 1. Mercedes-Benz GLE All it takes is a single glance at consumer reports to realize that there's something not right with the 2021 Mercedes-Benz GLE. It has a stunningly low overall score, not at all what you expected from any Mercedes vehicle. 
It turns out that while the 2021 Mercedes-Benz GLE is luxurious and roomy, there's a major drawback that drivers need to know about. Consumer Reports has given the 2021 Mercedes-Benz GLE the shockingly low overall predicted reliability score of just 5 out of 100. If this was a math exam, the GLE would have failed epically. Why such a low score? The problem appears to be the predicted reliability. This score is determined by looking at the reliability of past models. Based on reliability problems older GLE owners encountered, the predicted reliability score for the 2021 GLE is a depressing 1 out of 5. The 2020 GLE had problems with the electrical system, the in-car electronics, some minor engine issues, and the power equipment. Reported problems with the 2018 version include climate system malfunctions and some minor engine issues. Drivers of the 2016 GLE struggled with suspension problems. While the 2021 GLE scored an 80 out of 100 during the Consumer Reports road test, there were some problems. The biggest issue is that the luxury SUV's fuel economy is poor. Drivers should only expect to get an average of 20 miles per gallon. The team also reported that they weren't happy with the vehicle's controls. The controls present a real roadblock and were unanimously scorned by the staff for being unintuitive and distracting to use, Consumer Reports wrote. Many functions are buried deep in multi-level menus. For example, it takes a vexing six steps to adjust the lumbar support on the front seats. If you are looking for your next SUV, these highlighted models can be avoided since there are many alternatives, unless you are ready for some issues previously mentioned. Just be aware. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.